Welcome to Brazil, Alicia. Thank I hope you. you're enjoying it. I'm very much enjoying Well, I hope I... Uh, always when you come and do these press junkets, you wish that you are going to be able to stay a bit longer. Right, you should. Yeah. <laughs> Had you ever been to a Comic-Con event before? I have. I've been to Comic-Con uh, two or three times before in Bern, San Diego. Not, not here. Right, the original Comic-Con. It's crazy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's pretty wild. Right. But I've heard it's huge here as well. It is, yeah. it is. We have the most audience yeah. in the world. <laughs> Right, so it's a good place to be. Yeah. Alicia, Tomb Raider, we are familiar with Lara Croft, but it seems that this time around she has a lot more angst in her than in her previous incarnation in movies. Uh, would you care to comment about that? Angst? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, you know, I don't know. Father if, and, uh, uh, I think it's more the fact that, you know, we get uh, the chance to explore and, and, and a, a more maybe more developed character in the sense that we meet her in London. She has not yet gone on adventure. She's not the action hero that we very well know her to be. Uh, she's just a, a regular girl who lives with her friends. She has a day job. And, and throughout the film, you start to realize uh, her background, her the relationship with the father that um, ended up going away seven years ago and never came back. Um, I think it's uh, it's 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 more the fact that it's it's an insight um, to a girl that feels much more based in, in reality in the sense that she's much more leveled. We get to see the vulnerable side of her as well, and and and, and hopefully um, through that we'll be able to relate with her. And then it's uh, I, I then I love the fact that it's still the Laura Croft that we know her to be the kind of traits of her personality, the feistiness, the, uh, the fact that she always stands up even though she falls over and over again, um, uh, the intelligence, the wit, uh, it's all there. But like any young person, it's all about finding your footing in life and, and, and realize what path you are gonna go on uh, uh, in, in, in your life. And, and, and through this film, she's put on her first adventure. Uh, and, and she suddenly has to become this survivor and, and, and use all the tools that are deep inside of her and, and bring them out and hopefully become the Lara Croft that we very well know her to be. I'd never imagined Lara Croft holding a daytime job. What sort of things that she do? Um, <laughs> you will see. That her. will be. Uh, I, I love the fact that the trailer <laughs> came out and it's a lot of the story that it's not on, unveiled just yet. Uh, and of course, you know, including me, uh, you kind of imagine her that, or you think that she's going to be uh, based in the, in the manor. Uh, but also, if you, have, if you have played the 2013 games, the rebooted games that our film are based on, you, you already know that it is quite different from, from the previous movies. Um, what sort of uh, adventure does she embark on? We know there's a lot, there's lots of adrenaline in it, and uh, but uh, how would you describe it this time? There's the tomb; she has to go there. But no, the, the big <clears throat> emotionally, the 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 story begins uh, with us getting introduced to um, our character, of course, but the fact that um, um, she's also trying to mourn this dad who's been away for seven years uh, and um, after that many years it's it's time to almost declare somebody you know dead and 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 she has a hard time to let go uh, but then um, in, in, uh, she founds these clues um, about what uh, might have happened to him why he left and I think to be able to let him go she needs to know what happened so that makes her embark on this first journey um, Alicia, you love characters like these, uh, which have a lot of physical uh, expression to them. Uh, do you think it has to do with your background with ballet, or do you think your background with ballet, in fact, has to do with the fact that you love to express uh, emotions uh, through physicality? I think it's um, it's a way that I find my characters without sometimes unknowingly. I think because of my physical background, it's a certain amount of um, body awareness that you that you get taught in, in in school. And I think also to kind of differentiate the character from you, I like to find the physical being uh, in right. the beginning. And sometimes, you know, in a film like this or an ex machina, it's maybe more 
like profound uh, that you you know in Ex Machina was a certain way of movement that I wanted to find in this film I really wanted her because our film even though she's an action hero we wanted to base it in reality and and I wanted to feel plausible the things that she end up doing the fights right should feel real and gritty and also the fact that she is a young woman and she very often in this film and in all these adventures have to have to fight uh, quite big obstacles so I, I worked for many months and I put quite a lot of you know five six kilos of muscle on to be able to feel like it was um, uh, it was still based in reality I'm looking forward to seeing it cool. thank you <laughs> thank you Alicia thank you so much Take care. nice to meet you